Hello. This is now like the millionth time that I filmed this because I keep messing up. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I am making this for prospective admitted students at the University of Notre Dame. Um, go Irish. And also, I know you've probably been told it many times since being admitted, but congratulations, that's a really big deal. And the more time you spend at Notre Dame, the more you realize what a big deal it is to like have the privilege to go there. So congrats, and I really hope you decide to come here. Um, yeah, I'm making this video for a couple of reasons. Um, a, it's definitely something I wish that I would have had last year. Um, little background, I am a freshman at Notre Dame. Although, because of the coronavirus, I am doing online school for the rest of the semester. Um, yeah, definitely, there was a lot of schools that I was looking at um, last year that had a ton of content on YouTube and social media by, like, students. Um, like, vlogs and, you know, game day vlogs, a day in the life of a blank student, um, and then, like, Q&As. And I think it's probably just because Notre Dame students are super busy and no one had time, <laughs> but there's really no content out there for Notre Dame. And that was something that actually made the decision to go here a little bit more difficult. And because I'm at home and have really nothing to do, I figured, why not? Um, I also know that a lot of you guys watching this in 2020 um, did not have the chance to go visit um, after you were admitted because obviously the school is shut down, or I would not be here. Um, yeah, so I just want to answer like a couple of general questions um, that I had last year that I think that you guys might have this year, and hopefully I can give you some clarifying advice, because May 1st is coming up, and I know this is not an easy decision. Um, um, so the number one question that I had last year and the number one kind of concern I had about going to Notre Dame um, was the fact that it didn't have Greek life. Um, a lot of the other schools I was looking at for college were super, um, had like a super high Greek life presence. Um, for example, I was looking at Auburn and Clemson and CU Boulder and just like the most Greek life-y schools that exist. Um, so I was definitely a little freaked out that Notre Dame did not have it, and it was, I think, for a while what was keeping me from deciding to go here. Um, so now you know you are getting this answer from someone who was very intent on being involved in Greek life before I decided to go to Notre Dame. Um, I do not feel like I missed out at all by not going to a school that had Greek life um, for a couple reasons. I think the first, and you'll realize this more and more um, once you decide what school you're going to, um, once you're enrolled at a school and you're going there, um, you're not thinking about what you're not experiencing. You're only thinking about like the things that you are experiencing and the culture at your school and like I not, not once have I thought about what I'm missing out on by not going to Boulder or Auburn or any of that. Um, second, Notre Dame actually makes a huge effort to provide the space and opportunities to make relationships and friendships and find identities for yourself um, in the ways that I think Greek life does at a lot of schools. Um, but it's way more universal at our school because everyone gets to be involved and it's not selective. Um, and I think the main way that we accomplish that is through our dorm culture. Um, you may or may not know this, but the dorms at Notre Dame, you get placed in a dorm freshman year, and unless you switch out of it, which you probably won't, you'll live there for the first three years of school, and they really become your sororities or fraternities. and Every dorm has their own individual culture and their own like vibe, their own like reputation and stereotypes. Um, 
and we have like signature events for each dorm. Um, every dorm throws parties and has formals and informals. You have brother and sister dorms, and it really just reflects um, Greek life a lot, but it's also the places where you live, and it's just like your whole identity at Notre Dame. Um, and I think everyone I know loves their dorm and loves the culture and the friendships that they've made from the dorms. So it really becomes like Greek life, but without having to rush and without feeling like you're being chosen above or below someone else. And I think even though I was super committed to being a part of Greek life in college, Notre Dame and the way they handle their dorm culture type, dorm based climate, um, actually just worked out so much better for me than I think any sorority would have at another school. I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, the random rooming because I know it wasn't so much a concern for me just because I was so distracted with other concerns um, but a lot of people are freaked out about the random rooming and it is scary because um, you're getting stuck with someone that you don't know and you have no choice in the matter um, you're getting stuck in like a dorm environment that you don't get to pick either um, but I just want to assure you that I don't know how they make the selections they do randomly but almost everyone I know is extremely happy with how they were roomed. Like, both in the, the general dorm and in your individual room. Um, it just always works out well. And I don't know how they do that. It's kind of magic, kind of creepy, but it just works out really well every time. And also, like I was saying earlier, the individual dorms have such strong cultures and um, somehow everyone fits in really well with the dorm that they were put in. Um, again, don't know how they do that. Super like magic. Um, but you're gonna find your people, you're gonna have a blast, you're gonna fit right in, you're gonna be fine. And there's so, I mean, it's also something to say that the culture in general at Notre Dame is just so kind and you're always gonna have people looking out for you. And I don't think you really get that culture anywhere else there's always going to be someone who's looking out for you and wanting to make sure that you're happy and you're having fun um, and that you're fitting in. So I would just say, breathe. Don't stress out about rooming. You're going to be okay. I was okay. You're going to be okay. Another question I kind of had um, last year, and I think a lot of people, I think it's kind of a popular question, is just about the nightlife at Notre Dame. Um, because it doesn't have Greek life, how does the nightlife work? Um, one of the like prime differences I've noticed between Notre Dame and schools where like my friends go to is that the university administration like really encourages us to keep our nightlife on campus and I mean it doesn't always but um they're super lenient about like dorm nightlife so a lot of parties especially parties I think that freshmen end up at um but I mean everyone's there um take place in the dorms. A lot of the guys dorms and some girls dorms, but girls just don't throw the parties as often because it's just inconvenient for us. Um, a, the guy dorms have these like bigger rooms with common rooms that they'll clear out and they'll throw big parties there and it's not like administration or the adult presences in the dorms don't realize that we're having parties and they're super lenient about it because they know that it's just like Part of our culture at our school and there's a lot of like themed parties and it's dorm parties are a really great way to make friends because um i guess just like seeing people on campus um makes them a lot easier to approach like outside of a drunk saturday night um yeah so i really enjoy dorm parties and i mean you're not paying for an uber you're not having to walk anywhere but we do also have a lot of off-campus party or houses that throw parties Basically all the sports have houses. There's a hockey house, a lax house. Um, they throw parties a lot and also a lot of the dorms own off the campus houses that also throw parties. So you're still getting like house party, frat party vibe experiences. You're not missing out. It's just probably a little bit less creepy than a frat party would be. Um, and the boys are very nice and not fratty at all and that's something that I think I should really highlight because 
thank God. Um, and also, there are a couple of really fun bars and clubs in town that are super easy to Uber to, and because Notre Dame is such a small school, when you go to these parties, whether they're on or off campus or at a bar, um, you're seeing people that are in your classes or that you see at the dining hall or on the quad, and people are just super kind, and if you meet at a party, that person's gonna say hello to you the next day in class. It's not this super weird, disconnected culture, um, because it's just a small, tight-knit community, which I really actually ended up loving about the school. So yeah, I would say you're not missing out on anything nightlife-wise by going to Notre Dame. It's definitely different than it would be at, I think, any school, but it's still really fun, and, like, the nightlife is one of my favorite parts of Notre Dame, and I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Um, we also have, like, super fun game days. I would venture to say some of the most fun game days of any school because our alumni presence on campus on game days is so strong. There's just, like, professors and alumni and parents throwing these huge tailgates and just, like, handing you food and beers and, um, like, all the sports throw tailgates. A lot of the off-campus houses throw, like, early morning tailgates, and it's just, like, a full day of so much fun and... We almost always win. So I would say just like partying and nightlife wise, you're not missing out by anything or by any respect. Another concern that I know people have is about parietals. If you don't know already, sit down because you might freak out about this. Um, Notre Dame has a policy called parietals um, where on weeknights after midnight and on weekends after 2 a.m., um, you're not allowed to have a member of the opposite sex in your individual dorm room. Um, every dorm has like spaces that are 24 hour zones, um, but you can't have them in your individual room. And a lot of people are super freaked out about this because it's definitely different than it is at other like state schools or public schools. Um, I'm just going to put you at ease. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. Um, first of all, like not to sound bad, I mean parents priests, everyone cover your ears, but it's very easy to get away with not following parietals. Um, even if it's just like in the most innocent way, um, you're with your friends, you want them to stay longer, it's very easy to get away with that. Um, you just make sure that they don't leave your room or talk super loud when the adults are doing their rounds. <laughs> it's not that big a deal, it's not difficult. Okay, right, so to touch really quickly on the academic rigor, um, and like the difficulty of Notre Dame, I would definitely just like, to put it simply, it's difficult. It's difficult to get into for a reason. The workload is difficult, um, but if you got in, then the university knows you can handle it. I mean, you're not going to be able to party Mondays and Tuesdays, um, but I think that's a perfectly acceptable sacrifice to make um, to get to go to such a esteemed university. So yeah, don't go to Notre Dame if your plan is to slack off during college because that just won't work but all of us are kind of in the same boat um, and you have a lot of tools to get through it. Okay so I think that's all the questions that I was going to answer in this video but if you have any others I'm going to leave my Instagram down below and you can DM me um, even if you just want to talk to someone who you know is going to be on campus next semester and yeah I'll definitely make more of these videos later on in the year for those of you who decide to go to Notre Dame. What else? Um, again congratulations on getting in and just good luck with the decision process. I know May 1st sounds really scary and soon, um, and Corona does not make it any easier, but you'll figure it out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!